Now, here's an important story. Let's see if we can get to grips with it. Moody's is downgrading China's credit rating. First time that's happened in nearly three decades. They say rising debt and a slowing economy could make the country weaker. Your thoughts on that, Herb Lund? It well, is important. My, I think it's exceedingly important story, and I do think that you have rising debt in China, which is a problem. And of course, one of the issues that has to be addressed is the corruption in China as well, which has, I think, a dampening effect on the economy. So there are a lot of factors that go into the examination of what is happening in China at the moment. Well, Liz, doesn't this give us some leverage with China on the trade issue? If their economy is slowing and they're downgrading the debt, that looks good for us, I would say. Yeah, and let's face it, one of the reasons their debt is going up is because they have this big leadership powwow in the fall. They want the economy to continue to grow, and they're fueling it via lots of borrowing. Interesting stats. Since 2008, debt has risen twice as fast as economic growth in China. So you've seen this tremendous pile on of debt now. So it has, I mean, the ratings agencies don't do this casually. It's a changed picture in China. It's one of those big stories that's hovering in the background. A little bit. Exactly. A little and of course, bit. from China, mean, China's response, boy, your method, methodology yeah. on this is all wrong, and you forget we can do whatever we want you know, the government <laughs> with, with yeah. the economy. That was also true in the methodology yeah, okay. suggested that China was growing at 10% a year. Yes. It was also a fiction. Right. Yes. Uh, exactly. That's, that's one of the problems, as Herb says. We don't know what the numbers yeah, are. Right. Moments ago on your